talk about October because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And here at News 2, we are taking a deeper look into the disease and how it impacts those affected. Doctors, survivors, and women still undergoing treatment. News 2's Sophia Erzos has sat down with a breast cancer survivor who shares the lessons she's learned along the way and a message to others. I felt untouchable. I mean, I... I did not think this would happen, especially at this age. Cynthia Hall is 45. In April, she was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. I should be sad that I'm 45 and have breast cancer, and I should question where that came from and then try to make changes accordingly. That sadness was just one of several emotions Hall dealt with throughout her treatment, but it's a feeling she embraced, and she encourages others affected by breast cancer to do the same. But when you hear you're scared and you're sad, and everybody's trying to make you feel better, and that's wonderful. And that we need people to make us feel better. But allowing myself to have some self-pity um, was really important to me. A fight that was made possible by her team of doctors at MUSC. All that fear that I had inside of me went away almost the day that I met um, my surgical doctor, Dr. Abbott. Um, she was just phenomenal at making me feel like um, everything was going to be okay. Now Hall is sharing her story in hopes of aiding others. If I could say anything in this message, it would be for women to really be proactive and go to their routine mammogram checkups and all of that because otherwise I don't know what would have happened. An early diagnosis that changed her life, but you might be surprised to hear that she says it was a change for the better. So you expect the, the, the fear and the sadness and all of that. Um, but it really made me think about my priorities and what's important in life. And so I made some huge life decisions this summer um, that have put me in such a great place. And that was Sophia Arizosa reporting. Today, we do want to remind you, Roper St. Francis Cancer Center, they're going to be hosting free screenings for breast and colon cancer. The event runs tonight from 530 to 730. To get a colon cancer screening, you do have to be at least 45 years old. And we also want to remind you, News 2 is a proud sponsor of this year's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It's coming up this Saturday, and the event begins at 930 in North Charleston at Riverfront Park. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society.